Hello everyone. Today we have for you a St. Patty's Day craft, a rainbow and pot of gold. Uh, it was super fun to make and we actually have plans to make more St. Patrick's Day crafts since it is coming up very, very soon. So if you want to know how to make this easy kids rainbow craft pot of gold, just keep watching. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project is two white canvases. I believe ours are 8x10. Um, and then we just put them together. Some paint in a variety of color. We kind of tried to follow the rainbow scheme, but you can really do whatever you want. There were a few colors that we didn't have, so we just used different colors. It really doesn't matter. And then we did use black and gold paint at the end to make the pot of gold. And then we used... Um, some old sticky letters that we had to kind of spell out the word gold and then a sharpie and you will see that towards the end so the first thing we did was we just took plates and kind of put the paint on plates and had them stick their hand in it and then stick their hand on the canvas and then I actually used just use baby wipes to wipe off their hands in between the colors my original plan was to have two of each color like to have both of their hands in each color go along in kind of that rainbow shape but um after the first couple ones mia was not wanting to do it anymore i think she didn't like the idea of getting her hand dirty so um there is a couple of mia's hand and mostly of molly's hand but we just kind of went with the flow here um both my kids did really like doing this mia is just going through a phase where she doesn't want to get dirty um so i kind of just was going through the same thing with all the colors stuck their hand in the plate and then stuck it on the canvas we are using um, acrylic paint and i just want to say that this does come off your skin very easily but it does not come off your clothes very easily so you may want to be careful if your kids are kind of messy or if you're worried it's going to get on their clothes maybe put a smock on or just take their shirt off because it is difficult to get off the clothes but it comes right off the skin very easily like I said I used a baby wipe to get it off and it came off right away and even after we were done if they had any leftover paint on their hands it came right off with soap and water so that's just something to keep in mind and also I have ceramic floor and the little bit of paint that did get on my floor wiped right up So right now we're just making that pot of gold. I didn't realize until we played it back that Molly's actually blocking the camera so you can't see what we're doing, but that is what we're doing here. And then once we finish that, we laid the paint out to dry and that is what it looks like while it's drying. And then we are going to finish it up once the paint dries. Now we're gonna wait for it to dry, okay? Okay. Here is these sticky letters that I was talking about. We are just spelling out the word gold with them and then Molly had picked out a couple flowers to put on the bottom and is sticking them on there. I did actually end up hot gluing these because they got stuck and unstuck a couple times but you don't need to if that doesn't happen. And then after she was done sticking on the letters, I took a black Sharpie and wrote out Molly and Mia's rainbow. And then this is the finished product. I absolutely love the way it turned out. It is super cute. Um, let us know in the comments below if you're gonna be doing any St. Patrick's Day crafts with your kids. And as always, don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.